Hello. Hello everyone. How are you guys doing? Doing okay? I decided to come in on this midday live. Hope the lighting is okay. I'm trying to get into some good lighting. I'm just going to have to go with that. Nice. Waiting for a few people to jump on. Hope everyone is having a awesome Monday. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Veronica with Reese by Veronica. So glad to have you guys come on today on this midday Monday. Hello everyone. Today I will be making a Christmas centerpiece. So I'm happy to have you guys on, and um, it's going to be exciting. This is my first time making this one, so I like challenges, and I like doing different things. Thank you for sharing. Please share this so other people can know that I do do lives and that, uh, that I'm on. My name is Veronica. We're raised by Veronica. Everything I make here on Facebook Live is for sale. I also have an Etsy shop. It's Reese by VA. I am also have a YouTube channel. It's Reese by Veronica. A website, ReeseByVeronica.com. I am also on Instagram and Pinterest. So, um, please join me. Please go over there on my uh, YouTube channel. Go over there and hit the subscription button if you like. And also click the bell to get notification when I upload a new video. And uh, and also uh, click you if you want to be notified when I'm going live. What you can do is uh, go into the messenger box and click on that. And it will uh, put you in on the notifications when I'm going live. Hello, I have never been on on a Monday. Sundays, uh, yesterday was so busy. I was busy catching up on paperwork and all that and trying to do my CEUs for my certification. Don't want to get behind on that. So I want to get that out the way. And so I say, well, I'm not going to be working today. Let's do a Monday Facebook Live. How are we doing today? How's everyone? Carla, Catherine, hello. Thanks for sharing. Please share the video, guys. Please, please, please. And I'm just going to check in. Tell everyone hello. And to please share. All righty, righty, righty. Great, great, great. All right, this is what we're going to be doing today. We will be making this. This is a uh, evergreen. This is a cone right here. This is a cone right here. And also the bottom base is uh, uh, not an evergreen, I'm sorry, grapevine. Grapevine here, and this is a grapevine here. This is a 10-inch um grapevine reef as you can see at the bottom and this here is just the cone that, and I put it on top so I can have like a little uh head effect goes on here and also I painted this red because this was brown so I painted it red because I want to bring some color into it and I will show you the paint that I use and I put uh, cable ties heavy cable ties to connect them at the bottom as you can see right there and I put this at the bottom if so this won't scratch your table or your customer table you can put some mush on that and that'll protect that protect the table so these are heavy uh, ties so what we're gonna do now is go over supplies that we'll be using today I had some leftover mesh this is the white 
snowdrift mesh. I had the white snowdrift. I also had some red snowdrift. We're going to incorporate it in that. I cut these uh, 16 inches. And I also had some leftover red tinsel. Uh, all of this is come from Craft Outlet. This is cut 16 inches as well. This is 10 inch mesh though. And you would need some uh, pipe cleaners. You can use the color of choice. I just use white since I'm going to be incorporating red and white. So I chose white. You could have did the brown. You could have did the red. You could have did the green. It's whatever choice you want to do. It doesn't matter. Okay. So it's your, it's your preference. And these are the heavy uh, cable ties that I use. These are heavy cable ties right here. And let me see how much these measure out. These are 16 inch cable ties. You don't need these to be that long. They have them long and longer. These are the one I came up with earlier because I have short ones, medium, long, different colors. I just picked up these clear ones because this is what they had, what I had right then. I do have red. I have all colors of the, in these. So I used the heavy ones because I wanted it to be heavy duty. And as you can see, as I shake it, it will not come loose because I do not like uh, things to come a loose when I am doing uh, any project. You would need these needle nose and the needle nose is for when you put in your chenille stems and going into the grapevine. Sometimes it's hard so you can just stick this in here and just pull it out and that's what I had to do with that. You would need uh, wire cutters, cutters and this wire cutter I got the heavy duty one I do have some small ones, but I needed the heavy duty to cut those big uh, cable ties. And you would need scissors because what we're going to do, we're not going to do ribbon strips. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, a nice big bow on this one. And because this is so compact with all the ribbons, I'm, I mean, you could, but I'm uh, thinking just do a nice big bow and that'll be good. And I'm going to have some picks in it. It's going to be awesome. And I'm going to show you, this is the uh, paint that I use. I normally use this kind because it dries real fast. Because believe it or not, I did this an hour before I came on live and it's dry. So I use this and it also has gloss. I always use the gloss finish. I do have matte kind, but I like gloss better because it shines and shimmers a little bit better. As you can see, and it is dry. And I love that type of stuff like that. Okay, I'm going to go over some of the picks that I might be incorporating in. I'm not for sure. But I just pulled out some stuff. That's what you do. You just start pulling that out. And you say, well, if this will work, it'll work. And if it don't, it don't. Also, you would need glue sticks and a glue gun. Here goes some picks here. I got these red picks here. I have some peppermint picks. I have... Some of these here to put in if I choose to. I do have these. It's kind of whimsical, you know, with the green and red. So I'm going to incorporate some green in there because we just can't have red and white. We got to break it up a little bit and put some uh, red and white in there. Also have these peppermints here. Also have some snowballs. I think these are cute. And I do have some woodsy stuff. For those who know me, I love woodsy type things. You know, I like the farmhouse things. I am in love, love, love with that. And I do have some of these. As you can see, I have red and white. Red and white is another uh, color theme that, that is using for this Christmas season. And I also have this. I want to cut it so you guys can see. I'm using these scissors to cut. I do not use, just um, for reference, do not use the scissors that you use for your um, ribbon because they will become dull and you don't want that. If you want to need to cut some, have some scissors just for that. But look how gorgeous this is right here. The snow drill on here with the red and the snow. Oh man, that's gonna look so cute. I'm in love with this. And this I love it because it's bendable and it's gonna work fine. And it got the snowy feeling in it. So it is red. I love that. And 
I also purchased some in white. Normally when I go shopping or go to any, uh, order anything online or if I just go to a home base that's, uh, you know, and if I see it like Hobby Lobby or Michaels, I can get, I get things bef just to get it. If it's cute, I say, well, I can use it. And if this here came from Hobby Lobby, guys, if you're interested. And this is white as well. It's so snowy and it has wiring in it. It's great. So with this, if I would use it, I, would, I wouldn't I would cut a, a huge piece. I would cut like six inches, seven inches, just to incorporate it in to get it in. So I don't know. This is about four inches uh, long. I'm uh, thinking, let me see. No, it's two and a half, two and a half inches long. So that's pretty much like I use for my ribbon. You know, I normally use two and a half inches or one and a half inch wired ribbon. So, just put this on the side here. And I also have these. I don't know. I might put these in, but I would have to wire these in. I can put them in just like this. See, like this. And it'll be coming in this. I don't know if it'll be too big. But I will see. It's nothing wrong with getting a lot of stuff. And then you'll see what works. Okay. And I have these here. I don't know if I showed those already. But, so we went over all the supplies that we would need and to get this wreath started. Those of you that just joining, my name is Veronica with Wreaths by Veronica. Thank you for coming on. Those that's returning, thank you so much. Because you guys makes it all worth it for me. So, and if you could, if you could please share it. Uh, tell me hello. Let me know where you're viewing me from. Uh, I'm from Houston, Texas. And today, it's, it's a little sunny, so I'm going to take that and run with it because we have been having a lot of rain. Hello, Miss Delcy. How are you? Stony Stone, hello. How are you? How is everyone doing? For those of you that I have not spoken to, hello, hello, hello. So we're going to get started. We're going to start with our mesh first. And... Uh, Again, this is what we're working with today, guys. This is going to be a Christmas centerpiece. This is a uh, grapevine at the top, grapevine here. I did paint this red. This is a 10-inch base grapevine. So I just connected with uh, cable ties. Forgot to show you the ribbon that I'm using. This is all wired. I got this from uh, at home. It's a little thin, so I might use it. I'm not sure. It just depends on this here. And I have green and white because I want to bring in some of that green. This is wired as well. And let me cut this off so you guys can see. And this is red here. It is wired as well. It's felt. I love felt in the Christmas time. It looks gorgeous on wreaths. And whatever you're doing, it looks great. And whenever you are cutting your ribbon and you have a bin there, cut it. Do not try to cut, save it. There's no sense in it. Just cut it off because it's, it's not going to work right. I promise you I learned that by trying not to cut it. And you still have to cut it. So what I'm going to do is do ruffle method, and I'm going to turn this right here, put it down here so you guys can see. I hope you guys can see pretty good. I'm just going to tilt the camera down so you guys can get a good viewing with what I'm doing. All right, let me know if the viewing is okay. Thank you. Thank you for the thumbs up. Hello. Hello, Sierra. How you doing? You feeling better? Hi, Darlene. Nice. Thank you for coming. Y'all still deal with all that flooding and hurricane. I'm so sorry. Um, I hope things get better. You know, Houston had that last year uh, with Harvey. It was horrible. So, um, pray that everyone is well and do well. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with this white. I'm just going to bring it down. All of this is 10-inch mesh. 
and what I'm going to do is incorporate it in alternated the colors and uh, just do this bring this over put me right here and I think I'm gonna do this like this and just bring it up I'm thinking I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna see how that look I don't like that. I'm going to do what I normally do. And just ruffle it all the way up. And we'll have the bow tie effect. And what I'm going to do is just alternate the colors for right now. And then I only have, oh, you know what? I forgot to tell y'all how many tinsel ties I had on here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tinsel ties around. Now you might have to add more. I just put on some just to get me started. Like I said, I'm just going to alternate these all the way around. And this red tinsel here, it has white uh, snowball mesh in. <clears throat> So you guys do you guys are off or y'all working late today or uh, what's the deal? I uh, hope you guys are not skipping work today. But that's okay. You watching me, so you are doing something good. I don't like my lighting. It is cuckoo crazy. But I'm not gonna let that stop me. I'm gonna keep moving on. So this is, like I said earlier, guys, this is leftover mesh that I had. It's 10-inch mesh cut in 16 inches, and I am doing the ruffle technique. So I'm just going around and putting it inside these. Inside the chenille stems. Because at first I thought I was going to just ruffle them up and... Uh, Put them in with cable ties and then I thought about it I say no because I might want to do um, put more than one piece inside the ties and that way I won't have to worry about adding more I mean trying to get that cable tie in You retired and working on a reef? Awesome. Good. Good, good, good. So happy. So, those of you who don't know, I'm having a wine reefing event and I was sold out. And I've been getting ready for that. So many things, you guys, that's attending. Thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate it that you are coming. And with that, I will supply all the materials and the supplies. You will have your own rotary cutter. You will have your own uh, scissors, glue gun, uh, glue sticks, all that stuff. Whatever we are using, that I'm using, you will have your own. You would not have to share uh, with anyone. You will have all your stuff. So you can just do what you need to do as we go. We're going to go step by step and show you how I create all these things. And uh, you will have your own uh, self-healing cutting board mat. That's going to be great. Y'all, I'm digging it. It's turning out cute. Using the different type of mesh, it's, it's nice. It's all in the same frame. And then I got that red glistening in there. It is awesome. So 
So we would do we doing that October 27th in Houston, Texas. Wine and reefing event. I have gotten everything in my um uh, living room. Living room is packed with stuff. But I'm so happy to have it packed. It's awesome. So it is great, great, great. Getting things together. Got the uh, menu together with the husband. So, got my wine. Got soda for those that do not want to drink wine. Have water as well. You guys are going to have an awesome time, I'm telling you. It's going to be great. And it's not the first. So the first group that's coming in, you are getting it all. It's going to be great. Let me do this bad boy here. This one doing like that. I'm not gonna fool with it. How about that? After I put this one in, guys, I'm gonna show you exactly how it is looking, and it's turning out nice. See that? Isn't that cute? Oh, I love it, love it. I'm going to add one more chenille star tie right in there. I just guesstimated how many I needed. I just wanted to put some in. So I'm going to add another one right now. And I'm going to let you guys see. You see, I just stick it in. Uh oh. Stick it in right through there, and I pull it out with this, with the needle nose, and it comes right on out, just like that. So now I'm going to add another one. Hey, tab the girl, thank you. Thank you for watching me on your break, girl. How your students doing? What y'all on? Lunch break? Do y'all eat lunch right now? Tabitha or what? Or that gym or recess, whatever. What they call it now? And you always, when you put that tie in, you want to uh, twist it a couple of times because you want it to stay on there where it won't turn This is it. So it's all balanced out right there. And I have some other pieces. I'm going to, let me see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I got enough to put. I'm going to put two pieces in. Yay. I don't know about y'all guys, but I get excited when I'm crafting. I do. And what I'm doing is just open it up. And I'm going to lay that piece in. Because as y'all know, I love things full. I love my reef or whatever I'm making, reef base or whatever else. 
I love it full. So I got the two in, isn't that cute? And this red just saying, hello, how you doing? And see, with the cable ties, you don't even see that. <clears throat> the, me the mesh has all of that. It has all of that. So you don't have to worry about, is the cable ties going to show? It's not. It's not going to show. Uh, Christine, did I do what? Did you do red, white, all around the gather, the bottom? I'm not understanding your question. I did red and white at the bottom, yeah. All of that, yeah, I did that. So, but, uh... This is so cute. Oh, you free, huh? All right, girl. Good. Now, if you just want to do one uh, uh, ruffle in each mesh, in each uh, row of these, you can. You know me, I just, I just like to do more. That's me. More. So I'm trying to balance it out where the um, two colors won't be together, but it's going to happen because um, I, I'm using leftover mesh and a lot of it, you know, I had some pieces left and I said I'm going to just make a red and a white one. See, you can do a centerpiece. This is gorgeous. This can be a beautiful centerpiece on your uh, mantle, your table, even your, um, if someone has a uh, tabletop table, you can put it on there. And that'll be great. That looks awesome. So it will work. Always. Oh, it's brightening up. I guess the sun, because the sun coming out. I have the blinds open. And this room here, the sun sets on it, so I don't know why it's not. So we're doing a ruffle technique. Just like I showed you guys before. You ruffle it up in the middle. And you gather it up and it looks just like a bow tie. Oh yes, I did. I alternated the red, uh the red and the white. That's how I did it at the bottom. But you don't have to do that. You can do all white, you can do all red. I chipped my nail there. You can do all white, all red. It's, it's your preference. You can do it either way you want to do it. It don't matter. 
So don't think that you have to just do it that way. So you can do it just like that. I just want to finish uh, this leftover mesh up here because I had cut this for another project and I had some left over and I said, well, you know what? Because I've been, I had this for a while. I had purchased this uh, months ago and I told myself I was going to use it and I said, well, why not do it on a live so you guys can see how it's done. Cause some of my, my mesh is uh, the same color on on the uh, thing. This hangnail is killing me, guys. I'm so sorry. I have to get it off because it's connecting with the. Uh, and I don't have no clip in here to clip it off. But anywho, let's keep it moving. The cone in the center is grapevine. You know where they sell the grapevine reefs? They have cone grapevine. And I painted this. It does not color. It does not come in this color. I painted this one red. Actually, this morning. And uh, an hour before. I think an hour before it came on. Or an hour or two. And it's dry. And it's gloss paint. You can get that paint either at um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, uh, whatever, whatever uh, craft store that's in your neighborhood. And this is what I use right here. I use this. It's red gloss. So I use this. And I think I got this from Ace. This right here, Christine, this is the paint that I use. It's spray paint. So you can get that over there. You can get it at Michael's, uh, Hobby Lobby. I typically buy my paint either at, um, I normally go to Ace. Ace has some good paint. I mean, Hobby Lobby does too, so I get it from Hobby Lobby as well. And uh, it depends on where I'm at and uh, who has a good sale, and I get it there. So that's where I get it from. I'm gonna have to put this white in. Okay. Right here. So what I'm gonna do is take this one off so it won't be too much white at the top. I would do it like this, pull it, change the alternation of it because you don't know what's on the bottom because it's on the bottom. It must be getting hot outside because the air condition kicked on. Thank you, Christine. So right now I'm just fluffing. So I have went around. I want to make sure I did all did them all four times. I mean, twice. It, look how cute that is, guys. Tell me you don't love it. Isn't it cute? I love it. It is awesome. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it is full. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to add a bow with these beautiful ribbons that I have chosen. I 
also have this one, but I'm not sure. You know how you be in a toss-up? Like, I don't know which one I want to use. I do, thank you. I do have the snowman. I might use him instead. What do you think? Snowman or this one? Which one? Help me. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. And the hearts win. Let me see. What you think? This one with this. I might do the snowman. This one with this. It doesn't show too much. Great, great, great. Okay, I'm going with the snowman. Yes, I use the uh thank you guys. I'm gonna use snowman. Thank you for helping me. And this is what I typically do with my ribbons. Once I open it, I use a pen to put in there. Cause I used to I have tried all kinds of things to try to keep the ribbons straight. I tried tape. The tape eventually comes off. So when I use my stick pen. It comes in, it stays in, just like that. So, how about that? We're going to use Snowman. And we're going to use this uh, this red and green here. And I'm going to incorporate uh, some of the uh, red velvet. And we're going to use one big bow. So, what we're going to do here... I just typically just roll it out. Seriously, I do. Put it up here, or you can drop it to the floor. You just want all your ribbon out because you don't want it to get it tangled. Because you can always roll it back. Trust me. It will come back. Thank you. I'm going to use that too. I'm going to start with snowman. Typically what I do, I normally do like 7 inches on this. Do 7 inches. And I measure it on my self-healing mat. And I just gather it right there in the middle. And I'm thinking I'm going to do 12 inch bow. So you do it just like that. See that? All I do is brought it in just like that. And see, and I'm looking at this. And I like the 12. It looks great. So, and you're going to twist just like that. And I'm going to cut. Cut it by seven. I just, sometimes I do seven. It depends. And I think I'm going to do one more of these because I like old snow frosty. Seven inches again. Bring it right there in the middle. And if you can't hold it in your hand, you can just... Put a clip on it and it'll stay. I'm going to bring it in the middle again. This is what you would have like this. So we're gonna have I'm gonna have five, I'm gonna have five loops. So I'm just gonna alternate it. I have already went up with this one, so I'm just gonna go down. Bring it in. 
we're gonna measure 12. And twist. And we will cut about seven. I just cut. I don't I don't know. I just didn't got out of I measure sometimes I do. I do measure and then sometimes I don't. So right now, this is what we will have. We got one, two, three, and I'm going to do a velvet. And typically what it does, it just come all the way over, over here. So don't think it's falling out. It's not. You just got to get, get a grip on it. That's just like, uh, and if your fingers are uncomfortable, that sometimes it means you're not holding it right. Or you just can get cramps in your hand, though. It's kind of like me when I'm doing surgery. If I'm retracting in a surgery, and if I'm having, I'm hurting, I have some back issues going on, I am not retracting right. Because when you retract, you should not have no, uh, shouldn't have pain. Because if you're standing correctly, you won't have it. Got to have the body mechanics. Okay, we got one, two, three, four. We're going to have one more because I, you know, you do in um, odd numbers. So I'm going to go with another green. Another green and red. Bring some color in there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, tie down in a with a 22 gauge wire. That way I can bring it in there. Good. And this is the wire that I'm using, 22 gauge, like that. And all I'm going to do here is lift up, bring it across, make sure I have all of the ribbon in. And I don't cut this wire to save no wire, I just use the entire long piece of wire. And you just gather it up, make sure it's tight in like that. And you're going to bring it down like this. And you're going to twist it. I'm going to bring it and just twist the ribbon, not the wire. So this is it. And right now you just fluff out sometimes people do not fluff out until they put it on here because the ribbon get messed up again so they figure why fluff it out and you're gonna have to fluff it again which is true I'm just a ribbon fluffier so, so this is what we have and I will continue to fluff it. So while we waiting, I'm just gonna roll my ribbon back up a little bit and see what you guys are saying. Oh, thank you, Misty. Yeah, I used the snowman. And uh, Rose, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, for those of you that's first time, thank you so much for joining me today. Those of you that's returning, I appreciate it. Love you, love you, love you. I'm so humble. And if you guys are, uh, if you follow me, click on my uh, face, uh, Facebook. You can, on um, the Get Start button, you will be notified of lives. 
I also have a Instagram page. I do have a website. It's reachbyveronica.com. And that's a website I built, you guys. I'm so proud of myself. Uh, and uh, so I haven't had an opportunity to go back in on it to... I do visit it and look at it and stuff like that, but I'm, what I mean by going back and just looking at it and altering it uh, for things, So, but I haven't had time to do that. So what I'm going to do now is just cut these, give it a ducktail effect, or oh, I could just roll them under, but I'm not for sure. So I'm just going to, and that's how you get the ducktail. Just like that. For those of you that have been joining me, you guys already know how we do the ribbon. And um, so it is awesome. If my ribbon is uneven, I generally cut it straight. So when I do the ducktail effect, it, it all works out. And it's uneven because I just cut it when I had cut it off. Cut it straight. So if you could please share the share the live guys if you could. I would be so happy. So what we're doing is just bring bring the tails around, you know rotate them around so they'll all be where they need to be and sometimes they don't so you have to just keep working with it and moving it around So I haven't decided, let me see where I'm going to put the bow, because I've seen this look like this is the back of it, because they got, uh, if you can see, they got a little ga gathering right there, so I'm assuming that's the back. So I don't want to put it, um, wait a minute now, I have like that on all sides, okay? I'm looking at it real good here. So I think I'm going to put it there. What I'm do since I have wired, I can just put it in. Thank you, Misty. Yes, get in there, sell it, sell it. Get into you some classes because you have to invest in your business if you're doing it for a business. You must. Thank you, Misty, for sharing. So you have to go in and uh, invest in yourself. I love teaching, so it just does my heart good to teach you guys, you know. And I hope you guys are learning. Just trying to get it into that groove, and I did. And this is how it's looking. I love it. That red and green, and uh.
So I'm going to cut the wiring off on here. And I'm just going to bend it in. You guys can see. This is exactly how it would look. This is how it would look at the bottom. Just like that. Thank you for the hearts. So now what I'm going to do is straighten out the bow. See what I'm saying about waiting until you put it on there? Because you still have to straighten it out. And what I like about wire ribbon, you can bend it and it is still looks nice. got to work with it. You got to have the patience because if you don't, you're just doing that to make it do what it's supposed to do. Alright, I'm going to leave the ribbon alone for right now because I'm telling you, I can go all day, guys. I, I'm not kidding. I can go all day fluffing a ribbon, a bow rather. I'll probably uh, trim my uh, tails down a little bit more, but here it is. Just like that. Isn't that cute? I think it turned out nice. So now what I'm going to do is start adding picks. So what I'm going to do is cut off. Okay. Um, I just used a... Uh, spray paint Rosaline so if anyone in there that someone asking questions if you guys can answer it for them and if you watch the replay I have the um, information on there about the paint so thank you so with your picks all you have to do you want to just Fan them out real nice. Thank you, Susan. Thanks, Catherine. So, also, guys, check this out. Since y'all was talking about the snowman, I do have a snowman pick, you know, that I can put him in, in there once I finish. So all these picks here I got from Hobby Lobby. Uh, technically last year, not technically I did. It all came from Hobby Lobby last year. So I pretty much stocks up on my picks and stuff when they have their sales. I stock up on that. That way it uh, uh I won't have to just buy and keep buying. I I have it 
time I buy some if I just want to do something different or a customer's asking for something that I don't have and I just go and get it uh, and most of the time I order it online thank you Misty a little skeptical at first yeah it's all right colors will blend that's why I tell people don't be afraid of colors they will work because red and white is such a dominant color and when you put a green in it pops it out it absolutely does you cannot be afraid to use colors so I'm just straightening these out because I'm thinking I'm going to go with, uh, have these in here. Because I'm going to go with my big stuff first. I like these. I love these balls here. And then you can uh, alternate it in. So what I can do, <clears throat> think about putting one here. I could put one right in here. Because you know with the... Uh, With the ties, you can just twist it and glue it in. And if you don't like it, you can take it out. It's not a problem. Nothing is written in stone when you're making a wreath. Always remember that. Because my thing is I want to enhance this bow here. That's the deal. So I'm going to cut off just a little bit. I think I am. And I'm going to put glue on it. Just like this. And I'm going to do it like that. And stick it into the tie and wrap the other chenille stem around it and bring this out because it bends that's what's so good about that You always want to put in your big pieces first. That way you can see what you can do, what else you can add. That. And I'm going to put one right here on this side. As you can see, like this. That. all those picks I'll be looking like where is it and one thing about these they are bendable so that will look great this is my first time um uh, thank you Connie Thank you, thank you guys. Yeah. Misty was a little skeptical of my bow, but it turned out good, huh, Misty? That's how it is when you creating. It 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 appear like, oh man, I don't think this gonna be right. Because when I first pulled this out. It was all, I said, I got to paint this. I cannot. Because uh, some people put mesh around it. Or, you know. I'd rather do the paint. Because you don't, you don't have to worry about the mesh getting tangled up with your, with your other mesh or your ribbon or whatever. You could just do it just like that. You don't have to worry about it getting all tangled up inside.
Thank you, Connie. Thank you for loving my work. I appreciate it. Those that's coming to the wine and reefing event, they'll get to see me, actually see me work when I, uh, when they come. And those of you that could not join me this year, I will have one next year, so you can come next year. Right, so now what we're gonna do is just add more more picks and I think I'm gonna put this one in this bowl here or I could do a snowball now right there I want to add drama to the bowl you know what I mean so So what I'm doing is just gluing this into the bowl in the middle, sticking it in that way to stay. Bend it up. Trying to get this where this won't be, these two be together. But I'm not going to fuss with it right now. I get it later. And I could twist that down just like that. So what I'm going to do, 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 do. cut this tail off right there. That way I can twist it down. Just bring it all the way down, down, down. And all I'm going to do, guys, is just keep adding picks. The snowman is going to go right there. I think I can put him there. I'll work on him later. And I'm going to add berries. some of these and I'm going to add them in to individual ones in here because I want some all the way around thank you Teresa Okay, I will. What about now? Is it? Is it in view now? Thank you.
Thank you. When I get to working, Teresa, I just forget. And I just start moving things. And uh, glad you told me. Let me know. Because I get happy and I just forget that it's uh, not in view. So I got these berries coming out right there on the side. And I'm going to do them all the way around, I think. I might do them all the way around. Or I might do something else I was looking at. Because I have these. I have these little... Um, Again, I got these last year as well. Got these little red balls. I can just stick them in like that. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Just cut the chenille down just a little bit. Puncture it up with my awl if I can find it. I was very organized at first. Stuff gets missing when you start working. Seriously, guys. I don't know about you guys, but it does. So I got this awl, and all I'm going to do is use it and put a little hole in it just like that. See that hole right there? And I'm going to put glue in it. glue in it and also glue on the chenille stem. See that? I think that's cute. Look at that white. And I'm just going to tie the rest of it around. See with me using the white, it um it goes well with the uh, other color. So this is all I'm gonna do that. Cut it down. Just puncture the hole. You don't want to go too deep because you don't want to go straight through, guys. This is just foam. And you put glue on the inside. And then you put glue on your, uh, also on your chenille stand. Sorry, I dropped that one. And you put glue right in there, just like I'm doing. And then you put glue on your chenille stem. You can put it on either one. You just want to put it on the tip. And then you're going to bring it and push this inside, just like that. And it's going to stay. And then wrap the other one just around it or you can cut it off if you want to I think it's turning out awesome so I'm just gonna cut these down you want to cut them down. You don't want them too, too long. Put some glue in there like that. I'm sorry. I keep getting out the camera down. I wrap it around. Put some glue on the uh, tip of the chenille stem. 
and just push it on in and it's going to stay. Of course I had to stick myself and I like that. getting a band-aid because I stuck myself with the wiring that never fails. That's why I keep band-aid in the craft room. Hello cousins. All of you guys tuning in. I'm assuming you guys are on your lunch break. And if you're not, enjoy your day off. So please share my video if you can. Guys, you always keep band-aids in your craft room because you gun it's, it's inevitable. Working with craft, you're gonna stick yourself and something's gonna happen. That's just the way it goes. That's the nature of crafting, being a crafter. Well, you know, uh, it's all about crafting, but So, please share my page, guys. And go over there and like me on my YouTube channel. Oh, and I have an Etsy shop. Go on over there and love my show my shop some love by clicking on the heart on my uh in my Etsy shop so I know it's something in there that you can show favor to and I know it's something in there that you might want to purchase and if you don't I do do take custom orders baby I do So I'm, I'm deciding to take this berry on out. So all you got to do is cut it. That's why I tell you, nothing is written in stone when you are creating. Cut it down. And what we're going to do with this, we're going to take this ball, and this is an awl. We're going to put a hole right in the middle. We do not want to go straight through. I have done that before, and I was like, oh, my God. I could not use it. I had to get another one because it was for a customer. I got happy, and I uh, went all the way through. So what I did, I took it and used it on my reef. I see my other cousin in Beaumont, not Beaumont, Baton Rouge, sorry. Janela, how you doing, baby? I see you was at your game for your daughters. She's cute. She's a cheerleader. She a captain or co-captain. You know, I always wanted to be a majorette when I was going to school. Did any of you guys have any desires to be a majorette or anything like that on a dance team or anything like that? I did. I never pursued it, though, because I felt as if I, I couldn't do it. I didn't have faith in myself, so...
So, this is how it's looking all the way around with the red in it. See, I got some glue string right there. And just like that. So, so I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do another one. It's going to be in uh, for tutorial. And it will be for purchase. So if anyone is interested in purchasing it, I'm going to do one as a tutorial. And then that way you will get from the beginning to the end of how it's done, of all that is done there. So I'm going to put these in here. I'm going to add some more picks. We're just going to keep adding picks. I'm just going to add a bunch of picks in here. I know that red just pops, don't it? It pops out. I was thinking about this, but I think it would be too heavy for it unless I do... Uh -oh. So I'm probably not going to use this. It's always a good idea to bring things out, but it doesn't mean that you have to use it. It don't. just seeing how it looked for right now because I'm still thinking about putting in my uh, my elf legs so it can um, so I was thinking about putting these picks in they're not glued in what you think put those in or no Hey, Olive, how are you, girl? You doing okay? Doing all right, lady. Glad you can join me. So, so I'm going to add in some elf legs and some other things. So, I don't want to hold you guys too long. But I want to show y'all how y'all can do this. And also, with this here, I'm going to bend it down like this. But this is wire, so you can bend it. See that? That way it have a little tilt to it. Bend it up, and I'm going to put a nice little bow on here, too, with some little stuff to it. Probably put a big snowball up there. Uh, haven't decided yet. So, but this is something that you can do, guys. This is my first time doing it, so this is something that you can do. Don't be afraid step in it you know you just have to do it and you can do it so remember this is the grapevine from I got it from Hobby Lobby it's a two piece this is the cone and then I got a 10 inch grapevine uh, uh, work brief form at the bottom and it's grapevine and I connected them together with the um, uh, cable ties so we're doing a recap for those that's just not coming in I used these heavy uh, cable ties and I tied them out at the bottom. I put four cable ties, one on each side, that way it'll hold real good for stability. And I also, I painted this, I painted this red, 
use this red paint right here. I got it from Ace. You can get it from Michaels. You can get it from Hobby Lobby. It's your preference. Or you can even go to Walmart and get it. And the picks, I got those from uh, Hobby Lobby from last year picks. And uh, what else? The mesh, I got it from Craft Outlet. I got this from, uh, this is 10 inch mesh and I cut them all in um, 16 inches. So this is mesh here that has the snowball in it. I also put the white in there and I do have the red tinsel uh, mesh as well. It's also 10 inch cut in 16 inches. So I used that, that turned out nice. I have the red velvet here. I use this in the bowl. It's red and it's one and a half inch and it's wired. Got this from Craft Outlet. This red and green I use for this. I It's red with the green polka dots. It's wired one and a half inch. I got it from Craft Outlet as well. The snowman, I purchased this from uh, Hobby Lobby. And uh, this here is, uh, I'm trying to make sure I got it from Hobby Lobby. Yes, I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's two and a half inch and it is wired. So these are all the things that I had used to make this. And I want you guys to know you guys can do this. So if you do one, post it on my page. I will be happy to see it. And if you have any other questions or anything that you want to ask me, you can. You can inbox me. Remember, I'm on Instagram and Pinterest. I'm also, uh, I have an Etsy shop. It's Etsy uh, with Reese by VA. I have a YouTube channel, Reese by Veronica. Instagram, Reese by Veronica. So go on over there and my YouTube page. Yes, Carla, please do it. You can do this. I promise you, you can. Um, go uh my youtube channel is reached by veronica as well they have a red subscription button there i want you guys right now while you here go on over subscribe to my youtube channel give me some audience so i can build up my audience and go on my etsy shop click on the heart button show me some love show me how much you love me thank you thank you lord thank you so much this is awesome i love this so i'm gonna finish it up Add some things. I might take things out. I don't know. That's how I do. But uh, I want to show y'all the basics. How you can do this. And you can do this. It's, it's, it's easy. Just have to just step out. And just do it. And um, I appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch me. Because you could be anywhere doing anything else. Watching someone else. You chose to watch me. I'm humble. I'm grateful. Thank you for all your likes, all your shares, all your comments, all your purchases. I love, love, love. I appreciate everything that you guys do. And I want to tell you guys, always, always, you know I can't leave without saying this. Put God first and everything else will fall in line. I love you guys. Have an awesome week. Have a beautiful Monday. Do not let no one steal your joy. Love you. Bye-bye.